Okay, so let's get started with creating our project. And uh, I'm, I'm using Android Studio 3.2.1, which is the latest release available as of right now. But I think in a few days, Android Studio 3.3 is going to release. And if you want to use Android Studio 3.3, that's fine. Just go ahead and use that. That's fine. I mean, uh, what we are going to build here does not really depend if you're using 3.2 or 3.3. But 3.3 does have some new features like the navigation feature, drag and drop, uh, UI development, and all of that stuff. But okay, so I'm going to be using 3.2. Uh, I'm just going to go and create a new Android Studio project to name my app as Conduit because that's the name of the project, the real world project. Uh, you know, the, the name of the project is uh, you know, uh, it's called Conduit. Okay, so I just name my app as Conduit. Uh, I'm going to save it to this folder. I think real world Android Kotlin. Okay, good. Uh, so we, if you're going to use Kotlin, uh, you're not going to use Java because like most of the new apps that are getting developed these days, people are doing it with Kotlin, not with Java anymore. C++ support we don't need. We're not building an NDK project. We just need Kotlin support out here. Next page. Uh, you can select which is the minimum version of Android that you want to uh, support. If you go to like a real old version like say Android Jelly Bean, you see 99.6% of the devices on the planet are covered. So there are a lot of people who are using Jelly Bean and KitKat and like age old Android uh so um i don't know i mean just check those people they should just update their mobile phones we're gonna support api 23 which is marshmallow and above uh which means that you can you know use all the latest and various features uh without any problems uh we don't need to support wear and tv and android auto and things and all that stuff so you know leave that out next screen we can you know choose what kind of an activity we want uh, this to start with so i think we'll go and start with a navigation drawer activity because you know we have this top navigation drawer on which we will write onto it and we will have all of these top level navigation items going on about in my uh, navigation drawer so good to have a navigation drawer okay uh next um okay what do we have we have the name of the activity which is main activity and the layout which activity has come main which i think all of that is fine we'll just go with what the default is just to finish and that's my project starts really um so the first time it's going to build it might uh, take a bit of time uh, okay so because it's going to configure your project and it's going to you know download all the uh, different libraries and all that stuff but yeah before we go into all of that let's take a look at the uh, you know the um, build up gradle file inside our app and you will notice that it contains all of these lines called android.support android.support so what's happening is that uh, these libraries they are going away okay and android is replacing all of that with the android x libraries so we want to use the android x libraries we want to don't want to use the com.android.support libraries now right now in 2018 uh, this is a bit of a tricky thing is that google has just introduced android x uh, not all the third-party libraries, uh, not all of the tools uh, support the new syntax. But these old libraries, they are not getting updated anymore. So Google has moved to the new syntax and people are just catching up. So Google has made it really easy to migrate projects uh, from uh, com.android.support system to the new Android X system. So if you go to like, uh, you know, Jetpack, Android.x packages, Okay, uh, so Android X, like there's a complete page on Android X uh, on the website, which tells you like why is Android X important. So uh, all packages in Android X uh, will have like semantic versioning. They will start with version 1.0 and you can like, you don't need to update all of your Android X packages simultaneously. You can just update them independently from each other. So there's a guide on how to migrate to Android X and it's actually pretty simple. Uh, what we need to do is uh, if you want to uh, go to uh, Android X, we go to refactor and we select migrate to Android X and that's it. That's all that we have to do. Uh, so Studio has support for this. Uh, let me just, you know, finish all of this uh, downloading stuff. And once this downloading stuff finished, what we'll do is we'll just go to Android Studio, uh, no, I'll go to Refactor, and uh, so there's Migrate to Android X, is this, so this is about uh, Migrate to Android X. If you, if you use that, I think uh, once my project is completely ready, you just go and click on, uh, you know, Migrate to Android X, and that's all that will take to get this to build. Um, Okay, uh, 
Okay, so our stuff left downloaded. We just finish uh, setting up this uh, downloading stuff, and uh, we'll see how like the migration goes. Oh, so my app is ready now. Uh, we'll go and refactor our project to uh, Android X now. Yep. So. Uh, you can see like uh, all of these uh, places like there's my uh, main activity main activity is extended from app compat activity and it's using uh, this uh, android dot uh, support dot v7 dot app dot app compat activity as you can see here so all this will actually change uh, when I go to android x uh, mechanism so I'm gonna refactor and migrate to android x um, and you just migrate It'll take some time to migrate because it's gonna check for all of the places where the old syntax is used it gives me like a refactor dialog box which tells me like you know there are gonna be 23 u places where and or support is used i'm gonna do refactor and okay yeah, let's solve for the best uh, i think this refactor if it works correctly uh what will happen is that in my gradle file the Android.support packages, they will change to Android X packages. Um, all the import lines where Android.support is used, they will change to Android X. Uh, and uh, there's this thing called, uh, there's these two properties, Android.use Android X and Android.enable Jetifier. So if these are enabled, then uh, what, is, what does Jetifier do is it takes all of your third party libraries, which were built using com.android.support and it will, uh, during the compile time, it will change them to Android X dot support. Okay, so uh, you can use an old library which was built in the pre Android X era and uh, still, uh, you know, consume that library in a project that is using Android X. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think the migration has been done. If I check out my gradual dot properties, you can see like this has been added. Uh, Android dot use Android X equal to true. Android dot enable Jetify is true. This, this is for all the uh, Android X uh, stuff, okay? Um, so I'll do is, uh, you know, I'll uh, make a, uh, a create a git ignore file out here. So I'm gonna ignore all the uh, Android stuff and I'm gonna ignore all the uh, JetBrains uh, stuff and create, generate a git ignore, uh, okay. Um, an appropriate git ignore is generated. So I just uh, make sure that I turn this into a git repository. Uh, and so that later on when you watch this video, you can just come to the repository and see like the steps that went into building this project. So git init, uh, so create a git repository, uh, git add. And so step zero, um, create project in studio 3.2.1 and migrate to Android X. Okay. Uh, so that's my coming. Um, okay. Next uh, video, we're gonna see uh, how to deal with the navigation drawer and how to change the theme colors and all of that stuff. Right. Um, so stay tuned. Watch the next video.